All right, so I actually have TikTok to thank for this one. Um, several accounts had clips and posts about this movie. This this random, you know, to me obscure 2011 film that I would not have known existed if not for scrolling on TikTok. So thank you, uh, TikTokers, for bringing this movie to my attention because I'm really glad I checked it out. Now, if you guys haven't heard about this movie, I don't want to give away like really big key plot points in case you haven't seen it because I think there's a good chance that you haven't seen it and I want you to check it out. Um, first off, it stars Adrian Brody, which, you know, I've always thought he's fine. He's a fine actor. Um, I never like thought too much of him. Like I like him, but I was never like, oh man, he's one of my favorites. But this movie is like award worthy. I mean, his performance in it at, at the, at least is phenomenal. Like I was like, damn, Brody can really act like he's got the chops, dude. Um, like I said, I've seen him in plenty of things, but never anything quite like this. I know he's done other uh, pretty dramatic roles before that are critically acclaimed, but uh, this is the first one that I've seen that really blew me away. Uh, that being said, this is one of the best dramatic films I have seen in a long time. Like, straight up dramatic film. You know, um, in recent years, I've I don't know. I've watched a handful of like just straight dramatic films uh, that didn't have other elements to them. Um, but this, this just really, it was just so good. And it, it's a slow burn. It is definitely, it's, it's not, it, like it, it, it moves. It definitely moves. It keeps you interested the entire time. Like you're always just enthralled by what's going on. At least I was. Uh, so it doesn't, it's not a slog at any point. It, it really moves, but it is a slow, dramatic film and is one of the saddest films I've seen in a very long time. So the story is this teacher who is like perpetually sad. Like, I mean, just this really depressed guy, but he's a fantastic human being. I mean, you watch this, and like, just as the film goes on, you just, more and more, you're like, wow, is this dude a good dude, and why? Because, like, he is so hurt, and he is so, um, I guess, traumatized. Like, it's kind of giving you his perspective on life as he's trying to influence and direct high school students um, while dealing his, with his own childhood trauma of, um, you know, not having a mother, not having a father, like growing up, you know, a very sad upbringing. And, you know, he's just this very uh, depressed and, and, like I said, perpetually sad human being who just is a really good person. Like, does so much good and in the film you know it's like he's never really rewarded for it in any way and that's what makes the movie even more sad like but what makes him so great is that he keeps doing these these acts of kindness these positive things in the world even though he's getting shit on the entire time now while adrian brody is the standout performance in this um just, just the way he interacts with the students especially, um, but also other characters in it. Uh, he, he befriends this young, I guess she's probably a high school age prostitute. Um, and you know, at first you're like, oh man, it, it, he's a creeper, you know? Like, what is he doing? Like, why is he talking to this teenage prostitute? And it's just, it, it's so innocent and Man, it, he's such an endearing character, and it's just so sad because he, nothing can make him happy. It's like, like I want to, I, I want to just get the guy to get some antidepressants, you know, something. Because I feel like 
there's no reason like things are going pretty good in a lot of aspects of his life like he's seeing some positive results of of the way he's moving through the world um but he just doesn't see it he doesn't see it and uh, things turn out bad a lot no matter how much good he does so um i don't know it it, it is a depressing it's definitely a a film for nihilists okay which i'm not one okay i'm, I'm definitely a probably maybe a little too optimistic sometimes um but i really enjoyed it I, I can still enjoy that perspective i can still enjoy that type of filmmaking uh this was also directed by and maybe maybe written by i'm not sure uh but at least directed by tony k who did american history x which is probably one of my top 25 top 50 movies of all time absolutely love that film um and he's done some other great works through the years, but that's just the one that stands out the most for me. Um, so if you're a fan of that film, you may enjoy this one. Although they are very different films, very different films. Uh, they still deal with very serious, dramatic elements. And um, man, like I said, Adrian Brody's the standout in this, but the cast is stellar. I just don't know how I didn't at least hear about this movie. I don't know how I didn't hear about it. But the cat, just listen to listen to some of this cast. Like I was like, what? How did I not know about this? So you've got not only Adrian Brody, you've got James Caan, you've got Brian Cranston, Lucy Liu. Like this thing is jam packed with names you will recognize and names that are like you know award winning actors fantastic film uh, have you ever heard of this film i want to hear i want to hear what other people think of this because i watched it kind of with no context other than the clips that were that people were playing on tiktok uh like clearly some some people are a fan of this film but i don't know how many people i don't know how big the film was or is does, does it have a cult following i have no idea um, did it win awards? I don't know. I, I really had no context going in. I just, by those clips that I saw, I was really interested. Like, the clips were of him interacting with students. And it kind of reminded me at first of, like, movies like The Substitute or, you know, the, these, like, these movies where, or, or um, it had some dangerous minds elements to it, right? It's like this teacher dealing uh, with these inner city kids and he's a substitute so he doesn't have much you know, power where he's at to really make a difference. Um, but he does anyway. He does anyway. And it was just, you know, even though I said it's perpetually sad film and even ends on a sad note, um, I, I really enjoyed it so much. It was a joy to watch. I, it seems weird to say it was a joy to watch this really sad film, but it, it really was. It's just stellar filmmaking, stellar acting, um, fantastic movie all around and I like I said I don't know and I'd like to know but let me know if you've seen this film what you thought of it um, if you haven't please go check it out come back and tell me what you thought of it um, because I, I was just blown away I was blown away by you know not knowing about this film and then loving it as much as I did and I would definitely recommend it to anyone um, well, at least anyone who can handle a perpetually sad uh, teacher who, no matter how hard he, hard he tries, continues to lose at life. Um, I don't know. It was just a, a, a look at, like, the human condition, right? And I don't know. I, I, I just really enjoyed it. But I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below or you can reach out on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok at Real Brett Scott. Um, let me know what you thought of the film. Let's talk about it. I love talking about this sort of stuff. That's why I do this. That's why I have this channel. Um, and please, if you enjoy this, if you enjoy stuff like this, where I talk about entertainment, pop culture, and things like that, then please subscribe to the channel or favorite or follow Daily BS Podcast, which you can find anywhere podcasts are heard. Um, follow me everywhere like i said at real brett scott 
And if you do decide to stick around and favorite or follow the podcast or subscribe to the YouTube channel, then I will talk to you again real soon. Thanks.